Behold, the ROG Claymore 2. Sorry, let's try that again. The new ROG Claymore 2, the successor to the one launched four years ago. A lot of people love the fact that they could use it as a compact TKL keyboard. Or, when you do need a keypad, attach it to either the left or right side of the TKL. The versatile keypad also serves as a meter controller or exclusively for custom macros. Bundled in the box are the wrist rest, a thank you card because you're awesome, the wireless dongle, don't lose it. You can connect it directly to the PC or this adapter together with a Type-C to Type-C cable to extend the wireless range. The receiver is easily within reach if you detach it often. The Type-C to Type-C cable by itself is for wide mode with fast charging. Finally, there are bonus ROG stickers, a reference map, the quick setup guide, and warranty booklet. The Claymore 2 retains the premium aluminum top plate and a detachable keypad with analog volume control from the predecessor. But that's pretty much where the similarities end. So let's move on to all the new exciting features starting with the design. The Mayan patterns have been replaced by the slash brush metal finish, which complements our other latest products. The ROG logo now lights up on the top left of the keyboard instead of near the spacebar, so the new magnetic foam wrist rest can be pushed up against the keyboard without blocking the logo. Since the keyboard has been upgraded to wireless this time, a clear battery status indicator glows next to the ROG logo. Hidden behind the top of the keyboard is a magnetic storage slot for the wireless receiver. This will help you to not lose it. On the left of it, the USB Type-C port is for a wired connection with fast charging. A power switch sits right in the middle of the TKL so it can be found easily without looking. And lastly, the USB pass-through port can be used when the keyboard is in wired mode. The slash design covers the bottom of the keyboard with large rubber feet to keep it in place. As you'd expect, kickstands are included to tilt the back higher if needed. Claymore 2 features a new slot and slide mechanism for attaching the keypad on either side. When separated, magnetic covers attach easily to both sides of the TKL and the keypad. The new metal railing mechanism makes it easier for the keypad to slot in and slide into place without much force, while providing a solid electrical connection. The sides are reinforced with metal construction for durability. Obviously, when it comes to the keypad, People have different preferred hands for number crunching, but think about all the times you needed to keep moving the right hand from the mouse to the keypad, and then back again. Right-handers can finally number crunch and use the mouse at the same time. As for gaming, the advantage of TKL keyboards is the extra room when the keypad is absent. The Claymore 2 allows you to simply move it to the other side, where the left hand has faster access to the volume control, programmable media buttons, and all the number keys for direct weapon change or custom macros. Faster access to keys and less hand movement are important considerations for gamers. When you have those things covered, then you need to consider how responsive the actual keys are. The Claymore 2 features ROG RX Red and RX Blue optical switches to actuate via light, and so debounce delay is taken out of the equation. The RX switches utilize a special hollow stem secured by the X-stabilizer mechanism to ensure keys travel vertically without wobble. The special stem reduces wobble and allows the LED to emit directly from the center, so lighting on keycaps can glow evenly no matter which sides the legends are on. The RX switches are more durable, lasting at least 100 million key presses. Let's look at the differences between the RX red and blue switches. The RX Red is a linear switch with the actuation point set at 1.5mm and the initial force at 40 grams, making it more responsive than mechanical switches. At the same time, not so much that you end up with a bunch of typos while you taunt your friends. Taunts are best served without typos. The total force is tuned to 55 grams, so you don't bottom out with loud clanks, and the stem rebounds back into position quickly with a familiar feel, ready for you to strike it again. Have a listen.
The actuation point for the RX Bloom is just the same at 1.5mm, making it just as responsive, but within that short distance, the initial force of 30 grams rapidly approaches the 65 grams required to get you over the hump before you hear the click. The rapid increase in force gives you every key press a sure, satisfying click while minimizing mispresses. Comparing to traditional clicky switches, the RX Blue reduces wobble by up to 65% to make every key press quick, timely and controlled. Here's the RX Blue in action. The new Claymore has been upgraded with wireless freedom, giving you more control with less clutter. The dedicated meter keys and volume control are handy when you want to lean back on the chair, search for something to watch, and not worry about wires. When it's time to charge the battery, or you want to utilize the USB pass-through, connect the Claymore 2 to the PC using the Type-C to Type-C cable so that you're in wired mode. A status indicator will show whether the USB pass-through port is active. The device connected to the port can be disabled manually to allow fast charging by pressing function plus F12. The battery level indicator flashes green when charging, purple if fast charging. A USB Type-C port that can supply 1.5 amps is recommended for topping up the massive battery faster. When the 4000 mAh battery is fully charged after 3.5 hours, the Claymore 2 is ready to handle up to 43 hours of gaming, even with the RGB cranked to max brightness. If you prefer the Claymore 2 without RGB to begin with, then you've got 144 hours of battery life. For a quick top up, fast charge for 30 minutes, then you're good for 18 hours. The Army Crate software can be used to manage settings for power savings, wake from sleep, and low battery notifications. The color of the battery status indicators can even be set to match the keyboard. The brightness and modes of lighting for all keys can be customized in software. Choose from one of 11 preset effects or use Aura Creator to personalize every individual key. Aura Sync offers synchronized lighting effects for your entire system. The Claymore 2 lets you do this in both wired and wireless modes. The lighting can be customized, as well as their functions. Macros can be assigned the visual way via Armory Crate, with the ability to fine-tune the amount of delay and repetition. Recording macros can also be done on the fly in three simple steps. Initiate by pressing Function plus Macro. Execute your macro. Press the macro key and assign the recorded macro to a key of your choice. The next generation of the Claymore retains the TKL with detachable keypad form factor to give you flexibility, and added all new RX optical switches with enhanced lighting effects, dedicated media keys which are customizable, 2.4 GHz wireless connection with up to 43 hours battery life, fast charging, USB pass-through, and wireless aura sync. Tell us what you think about the return of the Claymore.